Hello and welcome to an up-to-date program from our studio in Kyiv. How much time will it take to register business or real estate in Ukraine and have online services in the state registration sector become reality? Today we have an opportunity to ask about innovations in justice system. Deputy Minister of Justice of Ukraine, Gia Gatsadze. Hello. Hi, thank you for inviting me. Thank you for being here. And from the very beginning, you are a former Georgian official, and Georgia for many Ukrainians could be a good example of reforms. Hence, do you feel these great expectations, high level of trust, and at the same time more responsibility to the society in this sense? Of course, of course. Uh, this is uh, very challenging for me, and I feel uh, uh, responsibility uh, because uh, we should have very concrete results and we sh don't have too much time for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the uh, start of the, your work, uh, did you have a precise plan or strategy how to reform? Or maybe you just uh, uh, focused on fulfilling of obligations Ukraine undertook to the European Union? Uh, of course, we do have a concrete plan of reforming of our system and we know exactly uh, when uh, it will happen and uh, step by step how our citizens will feel uh, better services in our system. Uh, first of all, uh, this is a field of registration, registration of companies, registration of civil acts, registration of property. Uh, and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, this field was very corrupted mm -hmm. in Ukraine. Uh, all our citizens to, to receive any kind of certificate, so-called Spravkas, mm -hmm. they were uh, waiting in the big lines from the morning till the evening, and after that maybe someone was even pray, uh, paying bribe for it, and to get it. Mm -hmm. And uh, now uh, we, uh, we already have a... Uh, internet services developed, uh, electronic services, you can just print out uh, these kind of certificates at home. <laughs> and you don't need to contact our staff members at all. Um, because for many Ukrainians, uh, bureaucracy, corruption, long queues, uh, uh, all these challenges, uh, they are so associated with the state registration sector. Absolutely. And at uh, the time being, what results do you have? Uh, all, the, all the Ukrainians have the access uh, to these services, or maybe there are some regions where people still should... Uh, yeah, I mean, you can, you can print out these certificates, I mean, everywhere, in every region. Uh, but it's not enough, we know. We have a, mm, a next, uh, next steps, uh, we have a next plans uh, about uh, laws on registration. Four laws, four different laws already are adopted by the parliament by first hearing and uh, we are very glad um, that uh, in s from the October uh, we hope that the laws will be enforced and after that um, uh, we diversify, diversify and, uh, uh, our services. Ministry of uh, Justice will not uh, do any registration at all. Mm -hmm. uh, registrations will be done by notaries because we have uh, more than 7,000 notaries in our country. And they are already experienced, licensed and they already have uh, offices which means that budget will not spend any grivna for mm -hmm. the, this reform. And also, uh, because we don't have uh, enough time, we cannot wait. That, that's why all our notaries will be fulfilling, fulfilling these functions. But in the same time, um, uh, our local self governances also will uh, have the same functions. And uh, local self governances cities and notaries will be competing with each other. Mm -hmm. For example, if we have an active, motivated mayor in some city and he wants, he or she wants to uh, serve uh, the people, then uh, they will open a uh, service center and citizens will go to this particular service center. But Competition. For example, which we now do as a pilot in Odessa. 
But if we have a pas passive leaders in uh, in the regions and uh, local self governances, then our notaries anyway will do, do the job. That's why our citizens will have uh, uh, services throughout the country. These services will be uh, quick and effective. But and the Ministry of Justice will have just small function of control. And these aligned services, uh, uh, does they require um, strong teamwork from the Ministry of Justice? Because uh, this reform is quite comprehensive. Abs come. Absolutely. And who, uh, whom you do you work with? Who are you? Uh, what is your staff in uh, policy in this that's case? A, that's a very good question. I'm very glad that I'm, I'm working with the team of uh, Minister Petrenko. Uh, and uh, uh, almost all my colleagues, deputy ministers, are also uh, coming from private uh, field, mm -hmm. and they were never the part of old Ministry of Justice have, have no system. Experience. And that's why, uh, for me, it's very comfortable to work with young, motivated lawyers who try to change their country. And um, that's why, uh, I mean, I don't think so that uh, something is difficult. If uh, we want and we believe, it will be done. But if we don't want and we try to find arguments why, cannot, why we cannot do it, then we are lawyers and everyone can say uh, thousands of uh, arguments why it's, it is not possible. But I don't trust this. Mm -hmm. If we want and we tr uh, if we want, we will do it. And I mean we. Of course, we need some time, but anyway, step by step, every month our citizens will feel uh, how our services are developing. Uh, still, on the very beginning of the program, I've uh, answered how much time uh, will it take to register business in Ukraine? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. Is it possible right now or? Uh, of course, I mean, if, I mean you can register uh, the company uh, according model charters in the internet too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just send the application and you will have an answer. But after uh, new laws are adopted, I, th I don't think so that it, it will take more than half an hour. Mm -hmm. And real estate? Of course, the same. The same? Absolutely. And you are also in charge as uh, Deputy Minister of Anti-Corruption Policy. And recently, on July the 27th, the Minister of Justice, Minister of Interior Affairs and also National Anti-Corruption Bureau signed a memorandum on cooperation and exchange information. So detectives will have uh, direct access to the relative ties and uh, in such a way it will be possible to have information about any, um, let's say, enrichment uh, from the mm -hmm. officials. Mm -hmm. How do you think, will it speed up uh, the uh, combating, co combating corruption situation in Ukraine? Of course, of course. We, I mean, we, we have uh, different uh, directions on uh, how to fight corruption in our country. Uh, f uh, I mean, we are one team. We were working together with the Anti-Corruption Bureau uh, staff to uh, draft their legislation and uh, uh, and uh, last week minister signed memorandum together with the Ministry of uh, Interior and Anti-Corruption Bureau and they have their job and our goal is to change our legislation to minimize risks of corruption. I mean uh, and this is also very important because it will have a long-term results. Um, uh, I think that, you know, in our country we have uh, too much laws, too much regulations, too much licenses, too much paperwork. And my goal is to minimize this everything. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, uh, sometimes you see the structure uh, which is just created just for only corruption and bribes. You should abolish it. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, I mean, uh, and as less bureaucracy and regulation we have, as better will be uh, for us to fight against corruption. But as I understood, uh, it is more about new faces and people, not uh, about the laws and regulations in this case. Of, I mean, on one hand, you should have a good uh, legislation, uh, clear legislation. And legislation should not be bothering the people. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, uh, and on the other hand, you should have the uh, right people on right places. Because uh, it's very important uh, who is interpreting law, who is uh, making decisions according to the law. And that's why we have, um, we have a minister has created a personal commission, and I'm head of personal commission, and now we have uh, competitions throughout uh, all, all the country, and we are appointing the people um, who never worked in our system. And I'm very proud of it because, mm, uh, because experienced lawyers are coming uh, and uh, try, I mean, they want already to, to uh, work for Ministry of Justice and uh, we together will change the system of Ministry of Justice. But uh, all the reforms, first of all, they uh, should be done for people. And in this case, I'd like to ask as for communication between civil society, ordinary people, and the ministry and your team, which is involved in this reforming process. Oh, that's a very good question. I mean, uh, uh, we in Ukraine have a, a very educated and mot motivated uh, civil society and it helps it helps for uh, uh, m making right decisions and it helps when they are monitoring our system and civil society should always monitor state servants and uh, different ministries um, we have regular meetings with uh, non-governmental organizations of ukraine and we are listening their advices and we are also working as a one team. Mm -hmm. And is it possible for an ordinary person to write a statement or a letter, maybe, oh, and to yeah. get an answer? Absolutely, absolutely. And do yeah. you have such results of your online services or any reforms already, uh, feedbacks? Um, that's a very good question. Now, uh, together with USAID, we are developing a pro program of monitoring of our services. Mm -hmm. And in near future, uh, our uh, non-governmental organizations will be monitoring our reforms and we will f have a feedbacks uh, where uh, we proceeded well and where we have uh, some problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're also in ju uh, charge of the uh, judgment system, enforcement of judgment mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. And during your interview speeches, you, all, you highlighted the importance, the necessity uh, of this. Uh, this, this. This is another uh, very problematic field uh, in Ministry of Justice, which has also very high level of, uh, very high level corruption risks. Uh, because our bailiffs, they are enforcing cases on the millions and they don't have enough salary. So, and draft law is already ready, and we hope that this law also will be uh, adopted very soon. And after our reform, we will have a bailiffs who have a very good salaries because they were getting bonuses from enforced cases. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, uh, we will create a system of private uh, bailiffs, and they will be competing with, with each other. Mm -hmm. There will be competition. Uh, and uh, I, uh, and we think that we will minimize risks and our citizens and businessmen will receive from us better services. And uh, you've mentioned the mechanisms just to, to make uh, court decisions uh, to dominate, uh, dominate over private interest in Ukraine in this case. Uh, you know, yes, I mean, because our main goal is that uh, we should create uh, more working places for our people, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we should uh, create uh, investment-friendly en environment. And that's why after we succeed in these reforms, our economy will be developing and our country. Mm -hmm. And budget will also have more money in the state budget. Mm -hmm. 
in this case, uh, speaking about reforms, it happens that uh, the influence of our foreign partners is crucial in this case. And I know that there is also a project, your EU project support to justice sector reforms in Ukraine. Yes, exactly. And uh, what results do we have from already taking into account this project, maybe monitoring results, how our partners evaluate our achievements, or maybe they speak about some fields where we still have gaps and how do they help? Yeah, this program has uh, different components, including uh, judicial reform. Uh, uh, but uh, from, the, from the Ministry of uh, Justice side, this is just our, our function is just drafting and we try to draft uh, high quality laws to improve our system and uh, uh, to have a um, more guarantees of human rights and to build a real rule, rule of law state. Mm -hmm, in this case. Mm -hmm. And as for the evaluations from the EU, how you have meetings, round tables, discussions? Uh, yes, of course, but you know, um, um, uh, there are regular evalu evaluations from European Union, but uh, we, we have uh, already good results. We, I mean, um, we are fulfilling all our obligations and we in very near future I think that it will have uh, positive results on visa liberalization for our country. And uh, working as a deputy minister of justice of Ukraine, do you have some personal goals or challenges which you would like to overcome in the nearest future to say that I, I've done very important steps in this sector? Uh, of course, I mean, I think that, um, I mean, in, after all the, uh, these laws will be adopted, Ministry of Justice will be absolutely different ministry. Uh, I mean, uh, with absolutely different goals and functions. And uh, if our uh, citizens are feeling that they feel that uh, something is improving in the services, we, I will be very proud of it. And if to speak about the results of ministry works, first of all, which structures, institutions will be influenced? Or we could say that the results will influence all the spheres? Uh, of course, I mean, because, you know, now we are creating a, a competition among different ministries. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are reforms in the Ministry of Interior, there are reforms in the General uh, Attorney's Office, General Prosecutor's Office. Uh, there are reforms, very uh, quick and uh, effective reforms in the Ministry of Economy, and we do also our best. And this is very good. Politicians, ministers, uh, teams, they should be competing who is doing better for the people. But uh, uh, for three, four years ago, the situation was they were competing who, we, who, who will have bigger villa in uh, Goncha Zaspa, you know, and this time is finished. We should be competing with each other who is providing better and quick services for our cities. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the nearest future, I mean uh, till the end of this year, uh, what results would you like to achieve first of all? We will have reformed the enforcement of just, uh, justice, uh, enforcement of judgment system. We will have reformed registration field. We will try to uh, have a better procedures in the bankruptcy. Uh, we will set up a, a new system of probation. Mm -hmm. And also uh, we are mm, uh, trying to develop uh, effective mechanisms of free of charge uh, uh, advices and free of charge uh, consultations for our people. Thank you very much for your answers, for coming to our Thank studio, you. and I hope that we will see you with the results uh, in the near future. Thank you very I'm much. Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, just to remind, our guest today was Deputy, Deputy Minister of Justice of Ukraine, Gia Getsadze, and we spoke about the achievements in the, in the sphere of justice system reforming. This was an up-to-date program. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.